Hi everyone, it's Professor Kishbaugh. I want to go over a couple of things for your assignments for this week that's due. And we have a discussion question. I want you to get started on the management project. And we also have a paper that's due the following um, Tuesday. So I put some things in there that are due this Sunday. Then there are a couple of things due on Tuesday. Your final management project is just going to be a company profile. We're going to look at their organization structure. We're going to do a SWOT analysis, talk about the external and the internal threats and opportunities. And then you're just going to do a brief PowerPoint presentation or a Prezi. And that you will share um, our last class, which will be uh, the first week of May. There's no final exam. So during final exam week, you don't have an exam. There's nothing to study for on that. Basically, what I'd like you to do now is focus on the discussions, focus on the papers, and focus on this final project. If you're still having problems with MindTap, I'll go ahead. I'm going to talk to the publisher and see what I can do about that. But I'd like you to not do those first. Those aren't worth as much points as these other assignments are. So this week, we have a discussion. We also want you to get started on the project. And I want you to do a strategic paper that will be due on April 26th. So let's take a look. We're in week uh, module three, week five, planning and decision making. So when you're in my courses, go ahead and scroll down. And basically, you have a discussion forum. What is the purpose of developing strategic plans? And you can do this even if you don't have access to the book right now. You're still waiting on that trial access. Go ahead and you can do a Google search on strategic planning. You can watch a couple of YouTube videos. There's a YouTube video in this module on strategic planning. So I just basically want you to talk about what's the purpose? Why does an organization develop a strategic plan? I'm going to go ahead and record a lecture from our class this morning. I'm going to do that this afternoon and that should be up early this evening. Okay, so go ahead and do the discussion. Respond to two other classmates would be great for full credit. The management project is basically just an organization profile. Go out and find an organization, okay, and you can look at the Fortune 500 list, but I'm asking that you do like 101 to 500. Don't pick the large companies. I'd like to see some new companies. Maybe there's a company you might be interested in. As a result of everything that's going on, just about every business is affected. So maybe there's a company you'd like to do a little research on. They need to be publicly traded because I'd like you to tell me what their stock looks like and basically what their financial situation looks like. And you can't do that with a private company. So stick to companies that are publicly traded. Okay, and for the first week, all I want you to do is choose your organization. And then I want you to do a SWOT analysis. And remember, that's looking at the strengths, the weaknesses, the opportunities, and the threats. The strengths and weaknesses are internal factors, which you've read in the book already. The opportunities and threats are part of the external environment. And those are the things I really want you to look at. Please do not copy and paste a SWOT analysis from an article or from someone's website. I'd like this to be in your own words. Go in and create a chart. If you're going to turn your paper in on PowerPoint, there are plenty of charts right in there where you can just do like a T chart with the S W O T, okay, that kind of chart, uh, and just type them in is fine. If you want to do the chart in Word and transfer it over to PowerPoint, that's fine. I don't care how pretty it is or how crazy it looks, just as long as you're actually putting in the words. Tell me what you think the strengths of the re and the weaknesses of the organization are based on the research that you do on the company, and then also what are their opportunities, what are their threats. Obviously, there's a huge crisis right now, so that's definitely got to be part of the threats, and that would be also under economic. So the economic uncertainty, the economic instability, you know, instability of what's going on right now definitely can be one of your threats. The opportunities can also fall in that too. So the opportunities for some companies now coming out of this crisis is an opportunity for a lot of other companies. So it could be under the opportunity and it could be under the threat as well. But delve into it. Start thinking. You've read a little bit about management. You've attended a couple of classes. You're reading some books, attending podcasts, listening to webinars. If you're staying on top of what management is going on today, what's going on in management today, 
use that idea. What are the external things that are affecting the business? Okay, what are the internal things that are affecting the business? And that's the SWOT analysis. I'd like that by next Tuesday. And then I can answer any questions on the call next Tuesday. Uh, also list three external fi factors that are affecting the organization, which were going to be under your threats and opportunities. And internal cultural factors. If you can take a look at that too, those can go into your weaknesses or your strengths. Take a look at that. I believe they talk about that in chapters two and chapters three. And then what do these factors tell you about the culture of your organization? So just include a little blurb in there about the things that are affecting this organization. What does it tell you about the overall value of that organization? And that's step one. I'm going to go over the whole project in just a second. And you also have a paper that's due not till the 26th. The paper is due. And that's going to, again, be a one-page essay that's all and it's going to focus on strategy so watch this video on strategy and then you're going to go ahead and write the paper based on that okay and that's just a one page you have a couple of quizzes like I said it's going to be most beneficial to you to actually do the paper the discussion and work on the project those are worth the most points okay and then um, if you go to week six here, I want to show you, well, module six, this would be weeks seven and eight. This is where the project is, and I've opened up the project, and it's due May 5th. It'll be due that Tuesday. I'd like you to have the PowerPoint uploaded, and we will share those on our call, um, and that would be great. And you can either talk it, talk through the slides or you can just let me talk through them, but I would like these to be shared online, and I'm able to share your screen. Okay, so start the project by picking an organization. We talked about this. You're going to give a brief history of the organization, the SWOT analysis that you're working on this week, the cultural factors. Okay, you're going to create an organizational chart. You can start working on that right now. Okay, and after you've completed everything, you're going to put at the end of your presentation, the conclusion is the strategic goal. List one long-term strategic goal and one short-term tactical goal that can go with that strategic goal. That you're going to do at the very end. So after you've done some research on this organization, you've done a SWOT analysis, you kind of get a feel of how their management structure looks, then I want you to maybe pull out one overall strategic goal. It could be employee-related, it could be customer-related, it could be product related. Uh, I don't care, but the, what it depends on the organization that you pick, that's going to tell you a little bit about how they determine their short term goals and what are some ideas. And there's no right answer and there's no wrong answer, but that's how you'll wrap up the presentation. You'll start with a description of the company. You'll give us the SWOT analysis, their organizational structure, a little bit about their cultural values, and then you'll end that with um, picking some goals and there are no right answers there. This is totally have the freedom and flexibility to just imagine what their uh, their short term goal could be and maybe like a short term task or something they could do to complete that. OK, so have fun with that. Choose an organization you're interested in so you can do the data. I'm going to go ahead and put some information on the St. Pete Library online, maybe a couple of sources that might help you find company data course you can go to their website to get their history and description and things like that but you might want to go to one of our third party like emergent online which used to be Hoover's or one of these business source complete you can actually put in the name of the organization and it will give you all kinds of data on that organization sometimes the third party data is the best data because it will give you um, unbiased data. Okay, it's data that has been recorded, data that is available to people to review that company. Okay, and that's why I'd like you to pick a publicly traded company because there's a lot more data for those um, organizations than for smaller or private organizations. Okay, have a good time with this. Have fun. Turn in your SWAL analysis, analysis by next Tuesday. The whole project is going to be due that last Tuesday. That last Tuesday we have a call. Okay, no final exam. This takes the place of the final exam. I find that students have a lot more fun doing a short, short project than just doing an exam where they have to stress out and read and do all this information. Uh, this is a chance for you to be creative. This is a chance for you to choose the organization, be creative, and get the information uh, that you'd like to find. And then, of course, come up with some long-term goals for them. Okay, have fun with that. There's no right answer. There's no wrong answer. At this point in time, I think most organizations are going to have to rethink the whole way they do their business and how they do goal setting. Okay.
Thank you and have a great day.